Hey guys, so this video is kind of out of nowhere. I wasn't planning on doing this video, wasn't planning on doing it today, so excuse all this, but basically it's to address the middle schoolers right now that are getting bullied on what they're wearing or how they look or whatever stupid stuff people come up with. And also the people in high school that are dealing with a bunch of gossip and drama and don't know where to go and where to hide from it all. Now I know like right now on Instagram, blah 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 blah, I seem like I don't care about what people think about me. I seem like, you know, if you comment something, whatever, whoop de do, I hope it makes you feel better, whatever, but it hasn't always been like that and definitely <sighs> in middle school. And the reason that I thought about making this video is because now that I see more I, I know for a fact I look a, at least a slight bit more attractive than I do in middle school. Um that there's all these guys and girls that were mean to me that are now like trying to be my friend. And of course I'm not gonna bring up the past and try to make them feel bad, but I just kind of, it's kind of funny and also kind of insulting because I'm the same person I was back then. I might look different, but I'm just as nice. I'm just as funny. And I just wanted to make this video to let the like to let you all know that are like in middle school or in high school whatever and if you're getting bullied it's, it's not always going to be that way and a lot of people don't want to discuss the bad times in their life because they're over it they don't want to look back at it whatever but the reason i want to talk about it is because you know i want to help you guys too i would have loved to have seen this video when i was in middle school and I don't even have a picture left of my 6th grade, I don't think, other than the yearbook, but I can't even find it now after moving, but I probably destroyed every single piece of evidence that 6th grade has ever happened to me because of how, I didn't, I won't even say that I was ugly, I was just still a child and like everybody was developing and I wasn't and I was just this baby face looking thing and everybody was developing and thus hormones and thus everybody was making fun of me because I wasn't, you know, it didn't look like everybody else. So, I'm trying to, like, have a heart to heart with you guys that are going through the same thing that it does get better, I swear to God. And I'm not saying, like, it gets better because I was never suicidal, I was never anything like that, but I'm saying it gets better in the fact that those people that are mean to you, Really, like I swear they're not gonna matter in a couple years. Like in middle school, I remember there was this kid I had a huge crush on. I even forgot his name because he doesn't matter anymore, right? And I had a huge crush on him. Like you know, like when you're in middle school, you're like, oh my gosh, I like, oh my gosh, they're so perfect, blah blah. And I remember his friends were like, oh well, you should ask him out, blah blah. And I did, and he said no, and like, they were all laughing, and they set it up, and... And you guys are the first people that I ever told this to. Because I'm really trying to like, level with you, because like, my friends, my best friend Skyler doesn't know that, my boyfriend doesn't even know this, my, my parents obviously don't know. But like, I'm getting so emotional, not because of how like, upset I was back then, because I don't want anybody else to be going through that and thinking about how like crappy it is. Everything will be fine. Just focus on school, I guess. <laughs> focus on your friends. You know, just it's so easy to just block it out when you're older, but when you're younger, it really isn't that that easy because you rely so heavily on everybody else's opinions. So I just want to let you know that hey, if you're going through that phase where, you know, people are making fun of you, this and that, just hang in there and don't be insecure. Just, like, keep on thinking, like, oh, my time's coming. Oh, my time's coming, you know? I don't want anybody to feel that way. I will try to find a middle school picture, sixth grade middle school picture, because halfway through seventh, kind of an eighth, I was trying, I was starting to kind of find myself, aka try to look like everybody else. You know, so I looked kind of decent. I didn't even, you know, it was ridiculous how much I tried to like fit in because how much people made fun of me in sixth grade. 
on to high school. In high school, there's a lot of there's a lot of drama, a lot of fake people. Oh my god, yeah, I'm so happy I don't see any of them anymore except for one one person and that I had class with like once and that was my best friend Skylar. I'm happy I cut ties with everybody else. Um, but what I'm trying to say here is that there have been times where like people like this girl, God bless her, she is so petty, but you know, God bless her. She started spreading rumors about me. She she tried to do everything to like ruin me. People, like my friends, even started believing what she was saying. And they're not my friends anymore, obviously. But I'm graduated. She's graduated. She is the most irrelevant person in my life. She is the most irrelevant person in most people's lives. And I just want you to know that the people that talk about you, the people that waste their time on you and try to put you down are afraid. They're afraid of you, they're scared of you, they want to put you down so they feel better. And as as off as you know, as mom as that sounds like, as I guess if I'm a parent, I swear that it is because of that. I just want you to know and to hear it from somebody that you guys follow and might look up to, whatever you guys do with me. I just really hope that this helps you because time changes everything, honestly. Like the people that are bullying you now, they're gonna disappear. They really are. As time goes on, you'll go do your own thing, and I hope you go and do your own thing. I hope you're not insecure and you're not scared to pursue what you want to. I hope you're not scared to to wear what you want to. I hope you're not scared scared to say what you want to. It's it's ridiculous how how much another person's opinion that doesn't even know you can really affect you. Sorry, I'm getting emotional again, but thinking back to how worried I was back then. I really wish I wasn't. I really wish I had a few things to say to those people. I really wish I could have been more confident in myself, you know? And I'm getting emotional <laughs> because I really hope that this video gets through to some of you and that you're not worried and scared of like what people say about you because people are always going to say something about you. I'm just going to leave you guys with these with these words, a lion does not lose sleep over the opinion of sheep. And you are a lion, as cheesy as that sounds, you are a lion. You do not need to listen to a bunch of petty, petty little sheep about what they think about you because no matter how small you are now, you will get bigger and you will get stronger and they won't matter anymore. Man, I've been kind of rambling on throughout this video, but I hope, I don't even know if I even got to my points because I got so overly emotional that my, that my mind drew a blank. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, bye.